When someone shares a calendar with you, you might not get an email, but the information from the calendar will automatically display on your calendar view window. Now here, I've just clicked the calendar application on my Google account, which you can set up for free. But once, you're, once you've clicked this tab and you're in the application, you can find the details of your calendar not under My Calendars because it's not my calendar. Someone has shared this calendar with me, but in my other calendars. So if I click this tab, I can see other calendars here. So 7th grade Salk is the calendar that someone shared with me, and it's green. And so here are some of the events on the calendar. Of course, I don't have to display this, um, but since I have it here, I can click this little arrow and I have lots of settings that I can change. The color, I can email it to somebody, there are all kinds of notifications I can set up and events, I can mess around with the settings, I can hide this calendar and so forth. But I feel like the quickest way to create an event is just to click the day of the calendar that the event is due on or happening. So I like to click the day that a homework assignment is due. I click that and I type in the subject, math, homework, the number of the assignment, and that it's due. And then, in case it actually fits in the display, I put the pages and the problems. And then when I'm done, before I hit create event, I make sure that it's actually displaying on the appropriate calendar. So here, I would click 7th grade sock. And now, it'll automatically display to this public calendar that all of our students can view. So I hit create event. And there it is. Now there might be more details of, on this homework assignment. And if I need to add them, I click it. And then I have the option to edit the event. And there are all sorts of choices in here, which we'll go over right now. So perhaps I'm creating a different kind of event on Wednesdays. Maybe there's math after school. Help. And I'm going to display this on the 7th grade SALT calendar, but there are more details. So I'm going to click Edit Event. And I'm going to have it, instead of being all day, I'm going to select the time that's going to be from, let's just say, 11 to 12. And I'm going to repeat this event. Let's say it repeats weekly, every one week, on Wednesdays, and it ends um, on a certain date or after so many re repeated meetings. Let's say it ends, I'm going to choose March 9th, March 7th. There we go, another Wednesday. And the start date, in case I want to go back in time, I could obviously change that. And there's all kinds of options in here on how the week, how the act meaning actually repeats. And here as well. And then when I'm done, I hit done. Here there might be a description meeting after school, meeting during school, sorry, meeting during school to get some math practice. And I might say location, Sean's room, right, Sean's, all right, Sean's class, how about that? I might choose a certain color and then some kind of reminder set for myself so that I get an email or a notification. If I have specific people in mind, I can add the guest here and give those guests certain privileges here. And that's pretty much it uh, in terms of standard setup for an event. But then I hit save and you'll see that it repeats 11 o'clock, says the time, every week. And our students can access all of this. If they just search Sean Teaches, this website will pop up, sites.google.com slash site slash Sean Teaches. It's only important really that they search Sean Teaches as one word they click this and these events will pop up in the calendar on the website right and in terms of homework it is important of course that they see right away if it's a math homework or a science homework but they can click that event for details and they can click more details to read it you might want to put a link in there to a file or depending on the complexity of the assignment that can go right here and if students have their own calendar you can copy, they can copy the event to their calendar as well. They can print this and change the display view as well. And that's it. All right, hope that helped.